Hi, this is Misty at LoveThatShot.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Love That Shot actions that come included with our photo veil collections. Plus, we're going to jump right in and get creative with some photo veils. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is open up our photo editing program. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating in Photoshop. So the next thing that we need to do is open our photo, the one that we want to start editing. There are a couple different ways you can open your photo. First, you can go up to File, Open, and then navigate to the photo that you have stored on your computer. Or, what I like to do is open my folder where I have my photos stored, and then just click, drag over my software, and then drop it right in. So super simple. Now the next thing that we want to do is open our Actions palette. If you don't already see it in the sidebar at the right, all you need to do is go to Window and then select Actions. And I don't often like my palette floating around over my photo and getting in the way, so I'm going to go ahead and dock it into my sidebar. One thing I like to do before I start adding my actions is I do a foundation edit to my photo. That way it just kind of cleans it up and gets it ready for my more creative edits. So the first thing I want to do is add an adjustment layer. I'm going to select Level. Then we just slide our sliders to the right and the left just a little bit. And what this is doing is darkening up our shadowy areas and brightening our lighter areas. And giving the photo just an overall boost of contrast. So here's the before and the after. The next thing I want to do is add another adjustment layer. This time I'm going to select Hue Saturation. I'm going to click the Colorize option and then take my hue up to 30. And what this does is creates a sepia layer that we're going to work with in just a second. So I can close this out. Now I want to select the soft light blending mode and take my opacity all the way down to about 30%. Now you can see the before and the after. It just gives it a little bit more of a boost of contrast in addition to the levels layer that we added. And here's the before, before anything, and then the after. It makes such a huge difference and a great foundation edit for applying more creative edits later. So now we're going to jump into our more creative edits. So we want to add our first photo veil. I'm going to go up to my actions palette, and if you don't see the entire veil infusion set, all you need to do is click the arrow next to the folder, and that opens up each action in the Veil Infusion set. So I'm going to select Veil Infusion and click Play, and a message is going to pop up that says, in the following window, navigate to the veil you would like to use, then click Place. Resize the veil to cover your entire photo. Finally, double click on the photo to commit the change. The action will continue automatically. Ready to get started? Click continue to select a veil. So we're going to hit continue. So the first veil we want to add is called privet. And we use this veil on most of the photos that include people in them. It just gives the photo an overall warmth. So I'm going to hit place. Now what I want to do is rotate my veil over my photo. What you can do is hover over any of these corners, press shift on your keyboard, and then click and rotate the veil. And what that does is rotates it in, I think, 15 degree increments. That way you can get a nice 90 degree rotation. So then we just resize the veil over our photo and then double click. And what this action does is it creates a new layer in our layers palette with the veil on it. And it automatically selects the soft light blending mode, which is often the blending mode that we go to with veils and textures. And it automatically puts the veil at 100% opacity, but we're going to want to take this down to about 75% for this photo. And these numbers, you'll need to adjust them when you're working with your own photo. It may work at 100% or it might need to go down further to 50% or lower. You just need to play around with what works best for your photo. 
Next I'm going to show you the Veil and Fusion Blast action. And this is really fun. I'm going to click play. And it's the same message that comes up for the Veil and Fusion action. So I'm going to click continue. And we want to select Honey Wheat Veil. And click place. Now I want to do the same thing. Hover over one of the corners. Press shift on my keyboard. And then rotate the veil. And then resize it. But you'll notice in this veil there's a slight pattern to it that goes from the top left to the bottom right. We actually want to reverse that so that the pattern starts in the top right and goes to the bottom left. That way it matches the direction that the sun is shining in our photo. So to do that we just need to go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Then we just double click and it automatically applies several different layers for us to choose from. It automatically selects the soft light layer at 100%, but then it also gives you a choice of hard light at 50%, overlay at 100%, and then it gives you a normal, just this is what the original veil looks like. This way you can go and choose any of the blending modes that are available. But for this photo, I'm going to select the hard light layer. But it's still a little bit too strong, you'll notice up here in the top right. So we're going to take the opacity down to about 35%. And that gives it just this awesome, warm, sunny glow. And that's it. Just a couple of veils, a couple of foundation edits, and this photo is finished. So now we're going to get a little bit more creative and edit another photo. So I'm going to close this and then open my other photo. Now for this one I'm going to show you several different veils on one photo and so you can see how you how they affect a photo with multiple veils on them plus we're going to get a little vintage. So I'm going to start out by selecting the veil infusion action clicking play then I want to select privet and place then resize it over my photo and double click. And here's the before and the after. You can see it's already making a huge difference in this photo. Now I want to add another veil. This one is from the Simplicity Collection and it's granite. And I'm going to hit place and then resize it over my photo and double click you can see the before and the after. It gives the photo just an overall feeling of warmth. And here's the before on both of them and the after with both of them. Such a huge difference already. Now for the next veil, I'm going to use the Veil Infusion Blast action. Click play and I'm going to go back to the botanical collection and select Pearl Flower and click place. And then double click. Now for this one, it automatically selects the soft light blending mode, but I want to turn that off and select overlay. And here's the before and the after. You can see that it's just giving a lot more drama to the photo and just really drawing your eye to that bunch of fl this bunch of flowers but it's just still a little bit too strong so I'm going to take it down to about 80% and you can see the before and after and here's the before on all of them and the after with all of the veils. Now we could stop here but I'm going to show you how to add the Vintage Blast veils. So we want to select the Vintage Blast action and click play and this message says this action is meant to be used with our Vintage Blast photo veils click continue to begin. So we'll continue and then navigate to the vintage veils and I'm going to show you how each of these veils affect the photo. So we'll select blood orange first, resize it over the photo and double click. Now we want to take the opacity down to 50% for this photo. So here's the before and the after. Notice the difference in the shadowy areas? It's giving the 
photo an overall vintage vibe. So I'll show you the blueberry one next. Take it down to 50%. Then I'll show you the chive. Take it down to about 50. Here's the before and the after. Then the chocolate mint. Take it down to 50. And you can see how it affects the photo. It gives it kind of an overall brownish tone that's really great for a vintage feel. The last veil that I want to use, and the one that I'm going to use on this photo, is plum. And you'll really see how it brings out the purple tones in the photo. I'm going to take it down to about 50. You can really see it in the shadowy areas over here. It gives the whole photo just kind of a warm, plum, vintage feel. And here's the before and the after. I just love the effect that photo veils have on my photos. And the effect that it gave this photo is just night and day. I love the warm, the vintage feel, and it adds so much more drama. If you just love clean and crisp edits on your photos, but you love getting creative, then you are going to have so much fun with photo veils. So I hope you have a ton of fun using the veil infusion actions that come included with your photo veil collections.